The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Otis, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Hello, I am Elias. And as the man who holds the power of the wind in his fist, I've got one question for everybody here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, I have been all across the world. I've been to Paris, I've been to Italy, all across Europe, South America, South Africa, you name it, Elias has been there and it has brought me here tonight. And it seems everywhere I go, no matter what I do, a universal truth follows me. And I am certain that everyone here knows it. It is that WWE stands for... I said WWE stands for... Well, I gotta tell you, I certainly came prepared with a song tonight, but before I get started, I need you all to do a few things for me. I need you to silence your cell phones, hold your applause, and shut your mouths! I'm waiting for a town that's not such a disgrace. But I see so many stupid people I wanna punch them in the face I'm waiting for a town that's not such a disgrace But I see so many stupid people I wanna punch them in the face Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias? Negative, Ghost Rider. He's got his own album, Corey. How can you deny what this man is all about? In the ring, bell to bell, absolutely. I've got all the respect in the world for what Elias is capable of. But when he strums his guitar, it makes my ears bleed. I'd actually kind of like to see that. I'm so excited. I can tell. Might be one of the few guys you could call a savant wrestler. Gable's got such a sharp mind for in-ring tactics and has tuned his body into a pure wrestling machine. No question that Gable is custom built for this industry, but I think he's getting a little carried away with the Alpha Academy stuff. His ring tactics are borderline bizarre, and at times his confidence is kind of intense. I can't argue with you there, Byron. But whatever it is that Gable does in his training sessions, the results in the ring speak for themselves. Yeah, but anybody that is riding off Elias could find himself sorely mistaken. Don't let his melodies fool you. Elias is one sinister songsmith who believes himself to be the truth teller. And he's coming in tonight motivated by all the disrespect he's been feeling from the WWE Universe. Everything about Elias is painful, from his music to his attacks in the ring, but don't disrespect the man's capabilities. Elias is fully capable of making sure that his tune will be the last one you'll hear. 
Chad Gable has a lot of unique in-ring abilities, but what especially is going to make the difference for him tonight? It's got to be Gable's explosive athleticism. Gable has the raw power to take even the biggest competitors down to the mat. The more chances he finds to unleash his strength, the better his chances of winning this thing. Elias with the retaliation. Legs caught. Elias moves out of the way. Beautiful suplex. What a clothesline. Ouch. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Gets him with the counter. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. Oh my goodness! Dynamite leaping tombstone. Goes into the pin. Two! Oh, he kicked out. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Placed in the corner. Shoulder right in the midsection. Ah, trampling the opposition. Counter. And now there's an opening. Close lines are effective. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. To the sky. And nobody's there. Elusiveness from Gable. <laughs> oh, that's gonna sting. Punch right in the head. And Elias there got some pain directed right to him. A smart attack there by Gable. A true savant in the ring. Set crashing to the floor. He's back into the ring. A quick reversal by Elias. Oh, One-handed. Hits him with the counter. Turning the tables there. Outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Two. Comes back into the ring. The colossal clutch wearing that area down here. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this thing. I don't want to see him tap out. Not like this. He's risking permanent damage. Slipped right underneath. And just like that, he's out of the hole.
Still battling here. Oh, he could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Words off the pin at two. He just won't give up. Is a perfectly placed target. What more can this superstar do? Reaching deep into the arsenal. This could end the entire match. From the top floor. Superplex. Tonight we saw another smash hit from Elias. That was a B-side at best.